Hey everybody, this is Danny Vega, and what I'm going to do is just share with you a simple way to integrate uh, WordPress with your Shopify store site. We all know that Shopify is kind of difficult to work with uh, when it comes to blogging, just because of the way that their URL structure is set up. We all know WordPress uh, is awesome. It's very easy to write, you know, articles, to do content marketing, uh, and just to do a lot of other a lot of other things within WordPress. At the moment, there's really not an easy way to integrate Shopify with WordPress. Hopefully that will change in the future, but as of right now, there really isn't. There is a plugin that Shopify did come out with that you can integrate your Shopify site in some aspect with your WordPress website, similar to the buy now button. So there's a plugin, you set that up on your WordPress site and what you could do with short codes, you can start embedding products into your pages. It's not the best way, it's not the easy way, especially those who have already have full blown sites already set up in Shopify. This method is more for those that, that have already a store like I just mentioned, but want to integrate the WordPress um, to their website. So the way that we're the way that we're going to do that is by using subdomains. The best way I believe, if you're starting out fresh, is to install WordPress on your main domain, and then from there you can add the Shopify site as a subdomain. Kind of similar to what we're going to do right now, and I'll show you here in a second. But it's, it'll just be backward. The way that I'm going to explain to you is if you have Shopify set up and you have it on a domain. For example, the one that I'm going to be using is dojo3.info, just a simple little domain that I had just for testing and, and things like that. And we're going to add WordPress to that, which is the subdomain of blog.dojo3.info. Okay. Now, when it comes to SEO and Trustflow and, and DA and PA and all those other abbreviations that you may not even understand, subdomains do act like a separate site in Google's eyes. Um, there is still trust flow uh, being passed through from one website to another. Um, it's the same principle of when you go and you do interlinking and external linking from your website to authority sites. Okay, so if you already have a Shopify site and it's got some type of authority to it, and you start, um, you know, passing links to your blog, and then once your blog starts gaining authority and you pass links back to your to your product pages and, and so forth, then there's going to be some trust flow and, and it's going to help in general. Okay, so. If you look at the screen, you'll see that I have uh, a website set up here. And let me actually go to the Shopify site. Okay, so this is the Shopify site. Okay, and this is the back end of that. And as you can see, I have really no product set up. I just chose a simple template just for testing purposes. Okay, we have, you know, the about us page uh, and so forth. So what I've done is so the first step really is that you need to have a Shopify site already set up. Uh, now, when it comes to WordPress, the first thing you want to do is install or sorry, is set up a separate hosting account. So you can have a hosting account on Bluehost, on GoDaddy, uh, HostGator, anywhere. It doesn't really matter. After you have a hosting account, you set up your domain through it. When you're in the control panel, you want to add a subdomain. We're in the control panel. So this is what the latest version looks like. So what we want to do is go over to the subdomain section. Okay. And I already have one set up here. All you do is type the subdomain, which in, in this example is going to be blog because we're going to use blog dot and then whatever your domain is. For example, do, blog dot dojo engine three or dojo three dot info. Okay. So you want to set up a blog. Um, and this control panel is going to show you which domain you want to set it up on. It's going to be the main one. And then the folder is just going to be public HTML slash blog. And that should be pre-populated for you. Okay. So once you have that set up, then you go and you install WordPress on your subdomain. Uh, most popular hosting sites like uh, Bluehost and, and HostGator and so forth, they're going to have uh, an easy way for you to install WordPress directly on the control panel. So you can use that. Just make sure you install it on the subdomain that you just set up. Once you've done that, what you want to do is after you've installed WordPress, you want to keep a record of what the IP address is for your hosting account. Okay. And you can find that um, on there. It'll, it'll show you what it is. Okay. Now the next thing, and this is kind of where it'll kind of integrate everything together. And this is really the final step is to go wherever your name servers are pointing to. Um, for example, most people, they change their, um, they register their accounts on GoDaddy. 
and they change their name servers directly to the hosting company. If you do that, you have to go into your control panel and you have to go uh, to the uh, advanced DN advanced zone editor. It could be called DNS zone or anything like that, but just go to where you can edit um, your DNS records and so forth like that. It's it's kind of it's going to kind of look something similar to this, okay? So what we want to do is add a a record, okay? You want to call it blog for the name. Uh, the TTL is just the amount of time that it takes um, to kind of uh, propagate. You can just add, you know, 600 or something like that. Um, and then the address is going to be the IP address that your uh, subdomain for the blog where WordPress is uh, is being hosted. Now, with Shopify, most people, at least from what I know, instead of pointing name servers directly to Shopify, what they do is they just change their A record. So we'll, we'll go into GoDaddy uh, in here in a second, but I use Cloudflare to manage all my, you know, DNSs for all my domains. So it kind of looks something similar to this. Okay, I set up a new A record, I named it blog, and I have it pointing to the IP address of the hosting account where WordPress is set up. So once that is done, we all I did was just change the link for the blog to point to the subdomain and it looks like this uh, I kind of just made the theme match the same you should also do that as well that's very important to kind of keep um, the trust between your site and your visitors uh, to have a, a very easy user experience most customers they don't like at all when you go to a website and then you go to the blog and it looks totally different okay it kind of kills the experience in general so uh, in this example, I just kind of just made it really quick. It doesn't look pretty, I know, but you kind of get the point uh, of the functionality behind it. Now, if you use GoDaddy, let me go ahead and show you in here where, where you could uh, change the DNS. Okay, so once you're in GoDaddy and you're looking at the domain details, more than likely, if you just updated the A record to point to Shopify's site, um, then all you have to do is add a record and we're going to choose an a record and again same thing the host is going to be blog and it's going to point to whatever the ip address uh, that you just have for your hosting account okay and, and again the ttl you can just choose one hour half an hour um, i typically just choose whatever the lowest uh, variable is going to be which in this case is you know half an hour is fine uh, and again ttl is time to live it's the average time that it takes to prop to change um for propagation purposes so and that's it so once you've done that you fill out all the fields you hit finish um, most dns changes like this are happen almost immediately so you'll be able to start um to you know check and see if if everything's working okay if you have any questions at all let me know you can make a comment uh, i'll have this on my blog i'll have it on youtube uh, just feel for, feel free to ask any kind of questions or if you need any help at all and you you know need my help uh, I'm available as well